Hi, my name is Akadi Adetunji. Welcome to my How to Use Background series. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I would advise you to do so now. And remember to hit the notification bell so you will be notified when I post my tutorials. This was the design sent to me this week by one of the group members. And I'm going to be teaching you my own way of making this look better. So without any further ado, let's jump into today's tutorial. I'm going to be sharing with you what I think did not make the design look successful. First, I realized that the design lacks energy. I realized that the feel of the youth is missing. Now, working on projects like this, you need to consider the target audience, which are the youth. So you need to make this have that feel, that youth feel. And I noticed that is missing on this at work. I realized again that the title is hard to read. Somebody can just assume that the S is 8. A is looking like C. So when you're working on a project like this, I would advise you put the audience in mind. Make sure you do something that will be very easy for them to read. So when you're asked to work on a project like this, my advice for you is to get at work that you would know that youth are always um, finding it interesting to look at. There are so many examples out there that you can use. You can use sports posters, you can use party posters, or you can use game posters to get the idea of the type of concept that you're going to come up with. And then I realize again that your team, the title of your artwork is not really giving that artwork the entertainment look. It's not really giving it that youth look. And you need to work on this. And lastly, try as much as possible to make sure that you make your title easy for people to understand. All right, I realize that this artwork lack that also. You play with the title of the artwork, which I think is not a bad idea to do, but you you know you went too extreme on it. And as it is, it's difficult for people to understand what on the title. So I like the simplicity of the design, all right? And um but the part where we have the date, the time and every other info are too choked. So I would advise next time that allow more room, all right, and in that area so as to, you know, separate things and make people find it easy to read the content on your design. So the color we're going to be using on this project is going to be the analog color harmony. And the reason why I'm going to be using this color here is because of what the uh, client requested. So the application we're going to be using is Photoshop. This is the design brief. This is the most important part of this project. If we don't get this right, that means we didn't solve the client design problem. The color used, and this is where we got the color harmony for this project from. He said the color used should be gold, yellow, white, and lemon. So let's go straight to Photoshop and redesign this project. So we need to create a new document, so I'll click on file and select new. And for this project, I'm going to be using the normal size I use for Instagram design. 780 by 780, my resolution is going to be 120. And I'm going to leave the color mode the way it is and I'll call this um, OK. So let's bring in the picture from um, our exercise file. I'm going to drag that and drop here. So I'll position this somewhere here, like so. So we need to fill the background of the project. So I'm going to make a copy of this. And I'm going to rasterize this. Rasterize. And I'm going to draw my feature plot. So when I go to edit and select the fill option here, and I'll hit OK. Select black and white on the adjustment panel. And I'm going to just change this to soft light. Now I'll dial this down like so. And I'll push this up just like so. All right. So I'm going to stamp visible of the layer by holding out Control Shift Alt and E. And I'll go to Filter, Sharpen, and Sharp Mask. So I'm going to leave the setting the way it is, and I'm going to say OK. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to bring out the details on the image just to give it that 
you know, that grungy kind of um, look. And I'll bring in the next image from the exercise file, which is this. And I'm going to drag this down. Hit enter on my keyboard. And I'll change the blend mode to multiply. Next, I'm going to reduce the opacity just a little bit. Like so, and I'll push this down. All right, now, the reason why I'm doing this is I know I'm going to be adding my information on this part. So I'm trying to um, avoid not to make anything, you know, cover that part. So I'm just going to push this down to something around this. Angle. And I'm going to add vector mask and I'll select brush. So I'm going to use the soft round brush for this. And click size of my brush. Make sure your foreground is set to black and I'm just going to brush like so. Alright, maybe I should even increase the opacity a little bit more. Then I'm going to stamp visible of the layer again. So I'm going to hold on Ctrl Shift Alt and E. And next is to go to uh, Filter and I select Filter Gallery. So I'm going to be using the Paint Job option here. I'm going to make my brush 1 and sharpen scroll to be 2. And the next thing I'm just going to do is to say OK. So if you look at the image now, you see that the pixels are now sharp. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is to add a gradient map. So I'm going to click on this. I'm just going to move this down to somewhere around red. All right, like so. And I'm going to hit OK. Um, let's just make this go down a little bit more. And I'm going to just select OK. Select OK. So I'm going to hard curve to this to brighten it a little bit. So I'm going to click here and I'm just going to push this up like so. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to stand visible of all the layers so as to convert this to the gold that the client requested. So I'm going to hold on Ctrl Shift Alt and E and I'll go straight to camera roll. So for my temperature, I'm going to make that go to 100 and for exposure, minus 1, 40 here, contrast is going to be plus 6. So highlights is going to go down for my shadow. I'm going to make that minus um, 22. Okay, so my white is going to be 71. And black is going to be minus 13. And for my texture, I'm just going to make that 3. And I'll go straight to the curve. And I'm just going to push this up like so. And for the sharp one, I'm just going to increase that just a little bit. For the split tone... I'm going to make this 44, all right, and this should go this way. Now, you see, we're beginning to see that gold um, effect on the project. And for the balance, I'm going to make that minus 42. For the grain, I want to add more noise to this. So I'm just going to push that up, all right, to add noise to it. So 18 is fine. And I'm going to say, okay, now, so let's start adding our text. Paste it here. Okay, so I've um, put all my stuff in the group and I have um, the top of my team, which is this. And then I have the shadow of my team right here. Okay, so what we're going to do now is to create that grungy feel on the shadow. So I'm going to double click on the layer of the shadow because we're going to blend it first to achieve that effect. So I'm going to move this in to about this point, like so, until we start seeing those, um, you know, grunge effect like the way I have right now on my screen. So I'm going to hold down Alt and break the handles and push this in like so and push this one out just a little bit. And just push this back in like so. And I'm going to hit OK. So if I zoom out now, you see we have that effect. Then one last thing again to make this look more interesting. I'm going to shift select um, the two layers all right and i'm going to hit the control i'm going to hit control t on my keyboard to bring out the free transform and i'm going to select the skew option here and push this up like so and move it down just like so and i realized that the back my background color is too bright so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create a new layer 
and I'll call this um, yellow. All right, and I'll pick a color from here. Okay, and I'm gonna fill the project with the color with alt backspace. I need to move this to be above the layer of my project, and I'm going to come here. So I'm gonna select the color bond option here. The next thing I'm gonna do is to add vector mask, and I'll select brush. Increase the size of my brush. I can even darken this a little bit more by going to curve adjustment and just push this down like so. Right? Just bring it down like so. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. And if you have not subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you're able to come up with any project with the help of this tutorial, kindly post it on your Instagram page and remember to tag me. My Instagram handle is right here on the screen. I'll see you guys again in my next tutorial. Peace.